Hey guys, so today I'm going to walk you through how to run a Steam Exchange node using Docker. Docker is the world's leading containerization platform. By building and running SteamD with Docker, you can ensure that you're running the exact same environment that our developers are using. You can still build from source and you can still keep blockchain and wallet data outside of Docker, which I'll show you how to do step by step. If you don't want to build from source, we do maintain official Docker images, which will work with these exact same commands. This is extremely easy, and we highly recommend using this method to run your exchange nodes. For the example, I've set up a fresh Ubuntu 16.04 instance in DigitalOcean. It's an instance with 16 gigs of RAM and SSD storage. 8 gigs would be the bare minimum for an exchange node, but you'll have much better and faster results with 16 gigs. Fast storage on an SSD is also a requirement for running SteamD, as it's currently the most active blockchain in the world. These instructions will also work on other Linux distributions. On ones that don't use apt-git as a package manager, you can instead install Docker with a script from git.docker.com. For just the purpose of this example, I'll be using the root user. So let's get started. All right, so we'll go ahead and connect into the instance that I set up for the example. And we'll run an apt git update and an apt-git install git and docker.io. I'll give it just a moment to pull in all the packages. Next, we'll clone the repo from the official source. We'll see that created the directory Steam. We'll change into it. And now we can get building. So that's going to be a Docker build. We'll tag it steam it slash steam. Make sure you put the dot at the end. And the whole build process from stores can take 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your equipment. And we'll resume the video as soon as the build is completed. All right, so fast forward about 45 minutes later and the build has completed. You can see here where it says successfully built. So let's go ahead and change directories back to our home directory. And we'll create two directories for blockchain data and the wallet data to live outside the container. We'll call them blockchain and steam wallet. And now all we have to do is run it. So we'll do a docker run dash D, the D stands for daemon. We'll name it steamd-exchange. We have an environment variable for track account, which you'll fill in your exchange account ID, uh, whatever that may be. For this example, I'll just track Steam at blog account. And we want to open ports for the P2P traffic, which is 2001 and for the RPC endpoint, which is 8090. And then we'll map the volumes for the directories that we just created. Inside the container, it's slash ver slash steam wallet. And then for the blockchain data, inside the container, that's var lib steamd blockchain.
chain, create a restart policy, and that ensures that the container will always restart even if the system is restarted. And then the name of the image. All right, and so that got it started running. You can see that it's running by using the docker ps command. And you can follow along with the logs with docker logs dash f, f stands for follow, and then the name of the container, steamd exchange. And as we can see, this has already begun to sync from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and control C out of these logs. Now I'll show you how to use the command line wallet from inside the Docker container. So to do that, it's a docker exec dash it and the name of the container, steamd exchange, and then the path to the command in the container. and then the path to the directory that contains our wallet data and the wallet.json. So if we run that, then we get the command line wallet. And when we do things in here and add keys, they'll actually be stored in the directory in the wallet.json outside of the Docker container. And that'll survive throughout the life of the container and beyond the life of the container that can be reused and will always be there. That actually wraps up our tutorial on how to build and run an exchange node using Docker. The initial sync will generally take between six and 48 hours depending on your equipment, especially how fast your storage is. These instructions will also be listed step by step in our quick start guide for exchanges for reference. I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching.